Hi, welcome to this demo video of iDocenter Music School Management System. In this demo, I will walk through nine core functions of the system in managing a music school. Namely, System Dashboard, Schedule Calendars, Creating a new course, Registering a new student into the course, Collecting the student fees, Viewing students' outstanding fees, Marking lesson attendance, Changing lesson date and timing, And generating part time teachers' pay. Let's start. What you see here is the sign in page of the system. Each of your staff and teacher can have a user account in the system. Depending on the user role, they will be able to access pages and functions that are assigned to the role. Let's sign into the system. Here is the dashboard. At the left is a list of students with outstanding fees. At the right are frequently used administrative actions. Next, we go into the statistics page. Here it lets you monitor your center's performance. This is the monthly revenue chart. This one shows you the monthly revenue performance of the subjects. Next, we go to see the center's schedule calendars. There are several calendars available. This is the day calendar. The horizontal is showing rooms. And the vertical is showing time. Each slot is a lesson with information like course code, course name, teacher name, and attendance information. The color is teacher's color code. Next, we go to the week calendar. The week calendar shows a one-week schedule for one or more rooms. Next, we go to the teacher's calendar. The teacher's calendar shows a one-day schedule for one or more teachers. Finally, we go to the teacher weekly calendar. This calendar shows a teacher's one-week schedule. Let's go back to the day calendar to show how a new course is created. To create a new weekly course, go to the date of the first lesson of the course. Look for available slot for the timing you want. For example 8 p.m. room 1. Click on the available slot. Select the new course from template action. Search for a preset course template to use. You can filter by level. By subject. Pick the course template required. Select the teacher that will be teaching the course. Select to create lessons for 12 months to reserve the room and teacher for the student. Click the check button to check if there is any conflict in the room or teacher for the period. This message shows that there is no conflict. Click create to create the course with its weekly lessons. The course is created as specified. Change the course name to the student's name. Click save. The fees tab is shown with the preset course fees. Click the Lessons tabs to see the lessons created. Let's go back to the day calendar to see the course created. Now, let's register the first student into this newly created course. Click on the lesson of the course. Select the action New Registration. Click Generate to generate a unique student ID for the student. Enter the rest of the student's details. Enter the parent's details. Click Next. In this page, you have the option to select the last date for the student if needed, otherwise leave it as no end date. Click Register. Click Yes to confirm. The registration form will be shown with the student details, parent details, course start date and terms and conditions. Optionally, you can get the parent to sign on the form. And you can then print or email the form to the parent. Click Close to show the fees payable. This is the collect fees page of the student. It shows the outstanding fees payable by the student. There is a deposit. 
the registration fee and the December course fee. Total outstanding fee is $467.50. Select the payment advice action to see the payment advice that can be printed or emailed to the parent. The payment advice shows the lesson dates of the month and the total amount payable. Click close to return to the collect fees page. To add an inventory item to sell to the student, select the action add inventory. Search for the inventory and click add. Click back to return to the collect fees page. The inventory item is added. Click pay now. Select the payment mode. Click pay to generate the receipts. For this case, two receipts are generated. One for fees showing the balance due. And one for deposits. Click close to return to the collect fees page. Next, we go to the course fees page to see student outstanding fees. Here you see there is one student having outstanding fees for the month of December. Select November to see the students with outstanding fees for November. The total amount due is shown here in the summary. You can send them a reminder by select all of them and select the action send fee reminder via email or SMS. For SMS, you will install our app in your Android phone. SMS send from the system will be push out to your phone and send out from there. This will ensure all SMS will be delivered. Next, we will see how lesson attendance can be marked. Go to the day calendar. Select the lesson to mark attendance. Select lesson attendance. This page shows the students in the lesson. You can see who still have outstanding fees payable. To mark the attendance, select the action set present. Next, we will show how to change a student's lesson date and timing. Go to the student's page. Search for the student and click on his name to see his information. Select the Lessons tab. Look for the lesson to change and select the Action Edit Lesson. Set the lesson change date. Change the timing if needed. Click Save. The lesson date and timing are changed. Next, we go to generate the part-time teacher's pay for the month. Select the teacher's pay module. No teacher's pay has been generated yet for this month. Select the action generate. All part-time teacher's pay is generated. Let's edit one of them. The first table shows each lesson details. The course. The lesson's date. The lesson's duration. Number of students in the lesson. The lesson's pay to the teacher based on his pay formula. You can adjust the pay by giving addition a deduction. If applicable, the system will auto-calculate the CPF contributions. Click Preview to see a preview of the payslip. You can give your teachers access to their own payslip. With this, we finish this demo video of iDuson to Music School System Core Functions. Hope you find it informative and useful. If you have any questions or feedback with the system, feel free to contact us. Thank you and good day.